is the fourth planet from the Sun in the solar system's second smallest planet, being larger than only Mercury. Mars is known as the Red Planet because it bears the name of the Roman god of battle. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere and surface characteristics that are similar to the Moon's impact craters and Earth's valleys, plains, and polar ice caps. In this video, we will talk about everything you need to know about Mars. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be updated whenever a new video is uploaded. Let's begin by contrasting the characteristics of our two worlds. Despite their apparent variations, the red and blue planets share several characteristics. One day on Mars, for example, is approximately 40 minutes longer than one day on Earth, due to their similar rotation rates. A Martian day is nearly similar to an Earth day, lasting 24 hours 39 minutes and 35.244 seconds. Seasons on Mars occur as the temperature and thickness of the poles shift, but the seasons last twice as long. This is due to the fact that a Martian year lasts 687 days, almost twice as long as an Earth year. Therefore, doing one orbit around the Sun takes twice as long as Earth. As a result, Mars's axial tilt is very similar to that of Earth, at about 25 degrees, relative to our planet's 23 degrees. This implies that seasonal and temperature variations on Mars are similar to those on Earth. Mountain ranges, canyons, and deserts can be seen on all mountainous continents, which have similar geological compositions and metallic cores. However, the differences between the two planets are much greater than their similarities, with the Martian atmosphere being the most notable. The atmosphere on Mars, unlike on Earth, is very low, weighing just around 1% of Earth's air pressure and being unbreathable for humans. As carbon dioxide is causing global warming on Earth, this negative impact due to the greenhouse effect can be implemented on Mars to improve its climate and make it suitable for humans to live. There's a lot of carbon dioxide and water trapped in the polar ice caps, and blasting it up into the atmosphere with huge bombs wouldn't be difficult. Once it was spread uniformly across the planet, it would increase the temperature, allowing more carbon dioxide to be released from the atmosphere, resulting in a runaway effect that would heat the Earth very rapidly. It's made up of around 96% carbon dioxide, 2% argon, and 2% nitrogen, with trace amounts of oxygen and water vapors. Its surface is bombarded by the sun's radiation without a magnetic field. The thin air on Mars will leave you begging for air, and silicate particles will begin to fog your lungs. The low atmospheric pressure on Mars will cause your organs to burst in around two minutes, resulting in a quick but painful death. Liquid water is not stable at the surface due to low air pressure and cold temperatures. In these circumstances, life as we know it is impossible. The final problem is the shortage of liquid water on the surface of Mars. The poles of Mars do have water, but it's always frozen. The debate now is whether Mars is a safe place for humans to survive in the future. The short answer is no, not at first. There's no oxygen and it's very cold. But that's something we should work on. As water vapors cooled and rained down, oceans would shape. We could grow plants directly on the soil until it warmed up enough. And if the atmosphere were well oxygenated, Humans could be able to travel around the surface of Mars without a spacesuit or any other protective layers, much as we would on Earth. Unfortunately, this procedure, which is called terraforming, can take a long time. It is estimated that it may take several hundred or thousands of years to eat everything ready for a picnic. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has made no secret of his plans to send humans to Mars by 2050. According to the entrepreneur, Mars is the only safe place that can save the human race from extinction in the event of World War III. This extinction event could occur in the coming decades. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.